Hi, it's Chester Tucker from Blue Peak and Computer Training. In this video, we're looking at the average A function. Average A as opposed to average. We're looking at the difference between the two. Here's my scenario. Sales data for Bob, Bill, Bert, Betty and Barbara. I've each got 10 each uh, in terms of sales. So if I did an average of those amounts, it returns 10 as the average of those. Okay, now Bill and Betty don't actually have an entry there. Um, if I put in zero there, then obviously it would evaluate this as part of the average calculation. But as it's empty, it ignores it. Now Bill, Betty just hasn't returned anything yet, but Bill, he had a reason for not making any sales in April. And his reason, he had a heart operation. Now, Sounds a bit terrible, but just to let you know, it was successful. So he's had his heart operation. Average ignores text values. Didn't ignore a zero, but it does ignore text values. Now sometimes you've got a list of numbers and you want to put a note in as to why something, a number isn't actually returned in the cell. So we can put a little note in there. But I want the average function to treat that as a zero. Now this is where average A is quite useful because it will treat text values as zeros. Average A. Select those cells, press enter. There we are. So it's treated that as a zero. It's ignored this because there isn't anything in there. If I put a zero in both the average and the average A, um, evaluate it. But as a blank, neither evaluate it. Difference is, average A treats text values as if they are zeros. So if you need to put a note in a cell, or you have a column where sometimes it's numbers and sometimes it's text, average A might prove useful. So let's just look at this comparison up here. Average ignores text values. Average A treats text values as zeros. Average ignores empty cells. And so does average A. But we can also use average A in a situation where we want to find the average of true and falses. How about that? Average of true and falses. Now, if I just want to... Oh, by the way, these trues, trues and falses tell me whether Bob, Bill, Bert, Betty and Barbara have met their sales target. Little if statement there. Evaluates if this is a number. Checks to see whether it's greater than or equal to 10. If it is, it returns a true, otherwise it will return a false. So here we go. If I did an average of true and falses, you probably know it's not going to work. Returns an error there. But average A does return something when we you try and find the average of true and falses turns 0.6 because what it's doing is treating trues as ones and falses as zeros so I've got 0.6 there I could show that as a percentage 60% of my people have met their target by using my average A I've done that calculation okay so a little comparison there between average and average A it's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training thanks very much for listening